In this tutorial, I will show you how to create the executable jar in IntelliJ so that you can distribute your application. So this is IntelliJ 2021.3. So we are going to create JavaFX project using Oracle JDK 17.0.1. Next, I will not use any dependencies. Finish. Okay, don't show tips. Close it. Okay, I will close it too. So let's have a look. This is um, IntelliJ ID 2020. 1.3 community edition so by default uh, this project will be uh, built with uh, maven it means we are doing uh, modular programming okay there's nothing much to change okay so just wait for a while it's doing uh, indexing with uh, jdk 17 and uh, resolving some dependencies. Basically, it's downloading uh, necessary files using Maven. Okay, seems okay now. Let me close it again. So now we are going to. Um, Go to settings, then look for languages and framework. JavaFX. Um, we are going to add Sim Builder. Sim Builder 17 is on the C drive. Users, your username, and then hidden folder called App Data. So let's turn it on. Apply OK. Look for App Data. local folder name is um, sim builder okay let's copy this path okay we are going to use sim builder.exe paste it then when you open it it will direct to the folder then we can select sim builder.exe I find this way is easier to locate some builder. Apply, OK. So let's open an XML file in some builder. It's a simple demonstration. So let me make a minor change to FXML documents. So if you look at here, V box looks quite small. So let me uh, adjust the size. Prepose width and height, I will change to 600 by 400 pixels. Okay, for button, I will change the text to be uh, Java FX. Hello world. Let's save and return to IntelliJ. Build project. Then you can run it. Edit configuration, add new configuration, application. You can name uh, as a app, JDK 17. Main class is hello application. Apply. Learning. Okay, this is the one click. Welcome to Java FX application. So this is how you can create a simple Java FX application using Sim Builder 17. Next step, uh, I'm going to remove uh, model info Java for non-modular programming.
using leaf vector delete. Once you delete, go to project structure. We are not using uh, Maven, so let's remove it all. We can add the SubFX chart while by ourselves. Uh, in my case, it's on the program files, Java, JavaFX SDK 17.0.1.2 library directory. OK. Just make sure you point to library. Apply. OK. Now your project can use uh, external JavaFX library. Let's build. OK, it works. Let's try to learn it. OK, JavaFX runtime components are missing. So we need to use um, VM options when you run this project. Let's go to um, Edit Configuration. OK, Add New Application. Let me name it as App. Here, main class. Hello application, same. OK. Modify options. Look for add VM options. So we're going to type model pass to uh, JavaFX SDK library. You can copy, paste, pass to uh, JavaFX library. Copy. Paste it this interval quotation, then add modules. We're going to use only two modules, JavaFX controls, and then JavaFX FXML. Apply, OK. Let's try to learn it again. OK, as you can see, we are using Java. And then with additional model paths to um, run JavaFX controls and FXML. So here is the one. So we can do non-modular programming. OK, now next step, let's create an executable jar or runnable jar. Let's create a new class called app. Then we can call for main method belongs to hello application class. Arguments, that's it. This is what we are going to use for uh, executable jar. Okay, we are calling for this main method. Project structure, artifacts. Okay, add from module with dependencies. Just make sure main class this time you select app. OK. Now we are going to use a file. On the binary, we are going to select all uh, DLL files. Apply. OK. And then let's uh, build artifacts. By default, it's going to create a folder called out. Then uh, there will be a jar file under project name. So there will be a project name open in uh, Windows Explorer. Inside, you have uh, JavaFX Hello World. You can double click. Here you go. Now, this is how you can create an um, ejectable Java file. Then you can distribute it with the Java runtime environment.